Good morning. I had a super slow morning today. It's kind of late in the morning. You know, one of those days where everything takes longer, but there's no real reason. <laughs> Time got, kind of got away from me, but it's okay. I'm in a super good mood, ready to create. I have a lot of options today. There's a lot of stuff that is like kind of started and not finished. I have a lot of ideas. So Lennox wants to go out. I'm just gonna go out for like five minutes, 10 minutes maybe with him and maybe get a bit of wood for the fire later and then I'll come back in. I'm gonna let it simmer, decide exactly what I'll be working on today. He's very excited to go outside. We'll go outside, see it. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> it's so beautiful to see him play in the snow. Oh my God, you're so excited, but. <laughs> <laughs> is that the poo run? Eh, 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 is that the poo dance? Sounds like the poo dance. <laughs> All right, we'll give you privacy, bud. Lennox, what's happening? Look at yourself. What'd you do? What'd you do? Oh my God. What's that? Did you discover something fun? Oops. We have a poo. Oh, it's such a beautiful day today. It's very calm and there's a lot of snow obviously, but it's not cold. It's like a, it's a nice calm, not too cold day. I love it. I mean, it's kind of cold. Okay, back to the studio. Ready to go, bud? Go in. Let's go. He's got a snow beard. Look at that. Crazy. Oh, I'm snow ham. Poor little boy. Here you go, bud. Okay, that was intense. I had to give Lennox a shower because of all that snow that was really stuck in his fur. That was a whole thing. He's all fine now. I gave him a snack. Now he's gonna get dried. Everything's okay. So in thinking of what I want to do today, there was many options. I have a bunch of projects in the work that I could be advancing, but I, I'm not feeling it. I wanted like a really simple, chill, self-contained little project and I'm drawn to watercolors. So I'm going to pull out the watercolors and I'm going to explore maybe one or two pieces super chill and just have fun with that and I'll see you right after.
Hey, I'm all done. I decided to focus my attention on one painting today and I kind of went crazy with colors, which I really love. I've been studying yellow and white and gray for a while and I've been introducing some colors, but now I went full on rainbow. Let's take a look. My inspiration was seascape but it was from my imagination. I wanted a really moody sky and a moody kind of feel in the water, but I wanted to keep the, feel, the general feeling light and not too heavy because I had done it in a previous painting, this one that I kind of made twice. I had a very dark ocean happening and here I had a dark sky. That was part of the idea, but I wanted to keep things less heavy and pulled down. So by using multiple colors, a bunch of kind of colors, I, I wanted to keep a happy feeling, even if it was like, like a storm, a Bruin. So I saturated the colors a lot. I started slowly and then I kept adding and adding more saturation. I think the composition is a lot. For some people, it might be too much, but honestly, for me, I love how very busy it is and how like your eye can't really attach that much. I kept the darkest shades in this area, kept a bit lighter here. Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. I like the fact that it's very busy. I think it, there's a lot of energy to that. And again, I added some gel pen to give some texture in the sky and in the water. I don't really say that often, but I don't think I would change anything about this piece. Let me know your thoughts on my rainbow seascape. It's pretty different, but I'm having so much fun with watercolor. The more I use them, the more I want to use them, which is really cool. I never thought I would get hooked on watercolor for some reason, but they're so, so nice. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're inspired. If not, I'm sending you inspiration. I'll meet you down in the comments. I love talking with you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.